Welcome to the Design It A video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be placing a single motif onto a garment front in the Stitch Designer section of the program. Placing a single motif onto the sweater front is no different than designing it before, except there's a few more choices that make it much easier for you to accomplish this. Let's go to Design It now. Right now we're in the Stitch Designer section of the program. This is one of the five main sections of Design and Knit. The most common thing that happens is that users open their single motif and then try to make a blanket or a sweater front and can't get beyond the multiple motifs that they get. This can be very frustrating. We're going to say open. This brings up our thumbnails browser. Bunny. OK. I have lots of bunnies. I'm going to open up a shape, shapes, open up shape file. This is new to design it 8. We don't have to go to standard garment styling or original pattern drafting to open up our shape file and then come back to stitch designer. We can do it directly here. I'm going to open up a child's top, open. And in fact, if I use this cutout feature, it cuts out the pattern and I can see that there's multiple bunnies on each garment piece. And this is not what we wanted. Let's say shapes view a piece for now and let's say front because this is the one that we want to work with. I can use my move piece here and I can move my garment piece relative so that I get one bunny here centered in the middle of the garment and this is what it would look like cut out and you can edit this you can edit this cut cut out or not cut out whichever works best for you. I'm going to pick up my brush and I would like to pick up the blue and I want to edit out some of these bunnies and so as soon as I edit out this bunny right here all of the bunnies are being edited out and this is the frustrating part is because you want this bunny here but you want to get rid of these others and there seems to be no way to get around this. Let's say undo and let's turn our paintbrush off and let's discuss why this happens. If you look at the top, it says here the bunny pattern is the one that's open. It's 24 stitches wide by 50 rows, 55 rows high. And this is the whole problem. We don't have a piece of fabric large enough to fit the sweater front on. We have lots of 24 by 55 pieces of fabric all stuck together. And we can't create just one bunny. What we want to do is we want to set our right mouse button color to blue. The next piece that we create will be in that color, file, new pattern setup. I don't need to save this. I don't need to save the positioning information either. I'm going to make a new stitch size, set the size from a pattern piece big enough for the front. And Design Knit will automatically calculate for you how many stitches wide and how many rows high it will take to fit the sweater front on it. I can put in my tension files here, change my tensions, I can put in notes and I can put in my tension dial settings here. OK to continue. And now Design It has calculated at this current tension that this is how many stitches and rows it needs to fit the pattern front on. And in fact if you look on the top it's untitled yet it's 120 stitches wide by 172 rows high. And this is much bigger than the 24 by 55. So I have room now to put one bunny on this big piece of fabric. And let's do that. Edit, import, a single motif. And these five choices here are new. And they enable you to import the pieces exactly the way you want. I'm going to pick bunny in my thumbnails browser as the one that I would like to import. OK. And here I see my bunny hovering in the upper left corner of the fabric that we have made. There's a dotted line defining the edge of the stitch pattern. If I move my cursor over the bunny it becomes a hand. I can hold it down with my left mouse button and then I can drag this into position where I would like it and I can drag it again with my left mouse button until I get it positioned exactly where I want. It still has the dotted line around it defining the edge of the stitch pattern. And once I click outside of this dotted line it sets this down. And in fact if I cut this out again this is what it would look like knit. 
And that's actually quite well good. That's what we wanted. Because there's nothing else on the stitch pattern for the sweater, at this gauge, we can have just one single motif. If this is not exactly lined up, with, which is what it isn't, we can use this shuffle button, and I'm going to shuffle it to the left or shuffle it here to the right until it's exactly lined up where we would like it. The next thing we want to do is we want to say edit import a horizontal border and we'll do the bunnies again okay and it puts a line of bunnies on the bottom I can use the hand and this icon in the middle to move this up and down we'll put it down here on the bottom I have an icon here that I can move my bunnies until I have three button three bunnies here I would like to move so that I only have two bunnies on this side whoops and three bunnies here click outside and now I have one bunny and I have three bunnies along the bottom so I could do a horizontal bottom as if it was like a ski sweater with snowflakes on it or I could have the three bunnies and then this here and I can cut this out and this is what it would look like knit thank you